Now you saw this couple produce some beautiful dancing on Friday and Saturday night. They were the champions. Very, very clear winners in my opinion. But, I don't know if you know this, but they've been dancing together for exactly four weeks. So that's quite remarkable that they can go out in four weeks and produce a performance of the quality that they did on Friday night and again last night. And the dancing was very, very beautiful. And I'm going to try to illustrate some of the points as to what I believe in dancing, and they will illustrate those points for me, I know so very, very clearly, because they're both highly trained dancers. As you know, Katusha was the runner-up in the World Professional Championship and many times the United States champion. Aronis has been the amateur champion you know, for the last uh, two years in everything with his former partner, Edita. So, the first thing that I believe about dancing is, you might say, well, what wins a competition? You get to a final and you've got six pretty good dancers, all things being equal, with good movement quality, good musicality, and all the other factors, they're all good. But what wins? And I said that to a teacher of mine uh, who used to dance with Peter Abel and Brenda Winslade, who unfortunately passed away many years ago. But Brenda said, that's a very good question, John. Let me think about it. And Brenda came back to me about 15 minutes later and said, I believe I know the answer. And that answer had a big influence on what I did in my own dancing. And the answer was that she believed that the man who kept the best back and the woman who kept the best head would then generally win the competition, all the other factors being reasonably equal. So if you two would be kind enough to just take your hold, we'll talk about the back and the woman's head position. So you can see that he's got a wonderful line from his feet to his hips, and then from his hips right through his back to his shoulders, and that his arms are balanced. And I, if I look here, I can see Katusha very, very clearly. I can see all of the face. If I look, I can see the back of the Ronis' head and his lovely back. If I look from this direction, I can very, very clearly see his face and the back of Katusha's head. Now, the art in movement is to be able to maintain that. Those spaces, once they're set up, the space between here and here, Cincinnati and Columbus, that can't change. It can't change from here to here. It can't change from here to here. And it can't change from there to there. It's got to be a constant, even with the most difficult of movements and lots and lots of rotation, that that mustn't change. And when you see the very best dancers, you're seeing that intention of position throughout what they do. So whatever they do, that retention of position must be maintained. One of the, one of the ladies that, that I was fortunate enough to work with, a very smart girl, Katerina Arsington, she believes that her head touches the tip of a hula hoop. And once it touches that hip, the tip of it, it doesn't move off it, but it doesn't move over it. That's very important. That's a nice little metaphor to think about. So let's set up. We'll just do a little bit of waltz to start with. And I want you to watch the man's back and the lady's head and the position as it's retained. So half natural, position retained. See all the way on the clothes, the position retained. The syncopated spins, the position's retained. It hasn't changed. Now stop, close your feet, and you'll see that they're in the original position, except now they're in promenade and not in close. But it hasn't changed. Isn't that lovely? 